So um, guess what? What's up? Varun is finally picking up a car, and his budget is ten lakhs. Ah, uh, but what? Like, what does he want? What's his requirement? He's going to college in it, so something flashy. I'm guessing. So he wants the chicks. Yeah, of course he does. I have something in mind. So do I. But mine is better. No way. Let's see then. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking for a car under 10 lakhs and you want something performance related, my best pick is a second hand Polo GT. And just look at it, proper hot hatch. So how you pulled up in this? Obviously. Of course you pulled up in this, you idiot. If you have 6 lakhs, this is the car you should buy, a 320i. You should probably buy a three two five instead, but that's for ten lakhs, and they're so rare. Yeah, that's true. Let's find out. So any sensible person who has some sort of brains and like Hamza over there will buy a Polo GT because obviously you have the impressive build quality of a Volkswagen. Everything that's inside this car is durable and reliable. You have all the basic necessities like a radio tuner, a good steering wheel with wheel controls, uh, fog lamps and good lights, a decent uh, instrument cluster, and obviously. the thing that the polo gt is most famous for a dual clutch gearbox so now this car isn't as modern as the polo gt but at the end of the day it is still a bmw it's got automatic lights you know dtc that you can turn off halfway and did i mention it has napa leather yeah it does but it's quite simple in here because this is the base version of the 320d that came in 2010 and it can it always reminds you that you can go 260 kmph in this car can you do that in your polo i think not but uh, it's a very nice place to be in it's got plush seats automatic front and back wood trim just feels very premium so this is the power plant of the gt it's a very reliable 1.2 liter turbo 4 and uh, it produces 103 horsepower and 175 newton meters of torque very reliable How how much CC is it, bro? Twelve hundred. That that's it. Yeah. This twelve hundred CC. <laughs> yeah. Let me bring you here. The BMW has a two-liter four-port engine, puts out one fifty-six bhp and two hundred nm of torque. But don't you think you'll get an inferiority complex when a three to five pulls up? You have a four-cylinder in a BMW, bro. How often do you even see a three to five in India? But. You don't have a six cylinder. Yeah, I can't hear you over that teeny tiny turbo you have in your car. Does your car start up every time? So, what up, what up, Mister <laughs> Rear Wheel Drive BMW? No turn lights and shit. <laughs> okay, see, I'll tell you what my problem with the Polo GT is. It's the image. Every mom drives a Polo GT, and you cannot deny every that. Every mom drives a Polo. They drive a Polo GT because it's automatic, and that is my main complaint. But uh, yeah, okay, it, it can do this. It pulls. <laughs> it pulls. And for six lakhs, I mean, you, so okay. Uh, let's get one thing straight. You'll find Polo GTs across the price range. If you really want like a latest gen, like 2016 plus, you'll get it around seven uh, lakhs, seven lakhs ish. So it's still under ten th- uh, lakh rupees. If you want, you can get a 2013, the first gen Polo GT, which has been launched in India. You can get that car for around uh, I would four. say four, five, five lakhs. Five for a really good one. Yeah. I would say. Um, the car handles really well. It's a front wheel drive, so. very confidence inspiring 
but uh, one uh, really big factor when you're buying a car like a performance car especially is the reliability and the servicing costs and you know like stuff like for that for sure for sure and that, it's a Volkswagen so i don't think you can go wrong with it you can't because the servicing is super easy this car is so easily modifiable and you can easily easily just in a few tunes and a few things here and there you can push out 200 plus bhp what's so in sports mode it really takes the car to the red line it it, it it loves to rev this engine loves to rev and it inspires a lot of cars let's, let's you know? can we do tc off tc yes please i will take a u and we'll do tc off or maybe i slow down slow down <laughs> this car really pulls it, and and the surprising thing is in, even if it's a turbo like a performance turbo it doesn't have yeah, turbo lag it does not have turbo lag you can't feel it in any gear and that's a good thing i would say the other thing i have both the cars we are reviewing today are automatics yeah and uh, you could always go for a polo <laughs> diesel <laughs> if you are into that nasty shit but no i think so this car is a really good canvas and you can do a lot of stuff to it i agree so let me just electrically adjust myself into place you know cuz it has that and oh what is this you ask a sunroof okay like i mean in the lap of luxury what do you want to say see, about see this is so, a bmw so obviously uh, it will have some of the better luxuries yeah i better mean luxuries i mean you pull up in this and people are going to be say yeah ye kon hai yeah people will take you a little bit more seriously, seriously yeah but It's maintenance bro uh, what's up with that i don't know <laughs> i'm just uh, i'm i'll be very honest about it if you are going to go into a older bmw you need to know that your pockets need to be a little open because there is a lot of thing that wear out very easily on these cars tires for once cuz rear wheel drive and we have what's along the wheel right now and i'm kind of scared for my life but uh, it's a uh, It's also really nice, okay? Like you put it into manual and it says M3, M4, you know. Hey, that's true. But one thing that I have a problem with the 320i is that I'll be very honest, doesn't have a lot of pull. It doesn't. It Because doesn't. This uh, is. A, I mean, it's a. This car is a pretty good example, and we're really thankful for Auto Solutions to provide this car to us. But. Three twenty i doesn't really have a lot of pull. Um, yeah, it is a very heavy car, and and the four port doesn't really it doesn't do the car justice. Uh, being petrol helps, but I think the diesel version of this car has more grunt. But I think the car that you that you should really go for is the three two five i. If you find one, because yeah, first of all, three two five i's are super rare to find. Yeah. Uh, but they have the amazing six cylinder engine. Sounds beautiful. And yeah, basically the six cylinder engine found in that is the granddaddy of the M three's engine that you find ah, right now. Yes, exactly. So it's a pretty sporty engine to start with. So, but three two five is the way to very, go. But if you're not going to push your car too much and just need to get around from here and there and want the BMW badge, I don't think this is a bad investment. It isn't a bad investment, and it's a pretty good performance investment also mm. because any BMW petrol version you buy, you can really modify it to the T. Exactly. And uh, just a few ECU tunes and some exhausts here and there, and you can get exhaust. easily 250 bhp out yeah, of just yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. And it's. I like this car. It's a nice place to be in. No material feels cheap, and you just feel like a boss. True. Just keep in mind while buying this car that you will have high maintenance cost. It will be a fuel guzzler yes. and stuff like that. So just be in uh, caution for that stuff. Um, after driving the GT, I was I am impressed, but I still wouldn't pick that because I still think this is a very nice canvas to start your tunes on. I completely agree. Yeah. Uh, I would still stick with the GTs because the reliability and uh, you know you can drive it every day without any hassle, and also it's a smaller car, so you know. Practicality. Practicality wise, it's much better. Maintenance is also quite low yeah. compared to a Beamer. so 
I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm going home in this life. Wow. This video was brought to you by a collaboration between TDH and Auto Solutions. They have all multi-brand service points and a great inventory. Let me show you what it's all about. So let me show you their inventory. On the right, we have a Range Rover Vogue where Soham is chilling by. We also have a lot of unpremium cars or normal cars, I would say, like the Desire, another Swift. But they have a couple of gems back here. They have this beautiful Baleno 1.6 and there's a C-Class. The 320i, if you want to check that out, they have that in stock as well. And the mother load, a E38 7 Series. They have a super friendly staff and they are willing to help you out no matter what you want. And they have really nice cars in stock, which you don't find in most dealerships as well. So if you're looking to pick up a premium second hand or just any other car, pay them a visit. Their uh, address will be in the description below.